Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss a single update from Learners Vlog. Hey, what's happening beautiful people? I'm your host Abhay and you're watching Learners Vlog. Have you guys ever thought what happened to all your files and data when you delete them from your system? Where does all the deleted stuff goes after deletion? And is it possible to recover all the things that we delete accidentally? So guys, in this video, I'm going to answer all the above questions and through this video, I'm going to explain you guys what actually happens when we delete any file from our system. So let's get started. So let's first talk about the trash bin or the recycle bin in case of operating system. Whenever you delete any file from your system, then the operating system will move that file to the trash bin or recycle bin. Now if you had accidentally deleted a particular file, then you can recover or simply restore that file back to the original place. Files which are there in the recycle bin can also be deleted in two ways. First way is to manually empty the recycle bin to free up the disk space. And the second way is when the recycle bin gets full, then the system will start removing them on the first in first out basis. Which means the file which gets into the recycle bin first after deletion would be the first one which will be deleted by the recycle bin itself when it is completely filled. So now comes an interesting part what happens to the file when it got deleted from your recycle bin. So what happens is that when you delete contents from the recycle bin, it doesn't mean that the data is completely deleted. It is still in your system, but you can see it. The only thing that gets removed when you empty the trash or recycle bin is the master file table reference which merely tells the operating system where the file was located. Essentially, we are only removing the map to the data, not the data itself. While deleting the data from recycle bin, we are actually giving the operating system a permission to override the particular area of hard drive where data was actually stored. While deleting the recycle bin, the system simply changes a bit in the file allocation table that marks the space occupied by the file as free. For example, let us assume 1 is for the occupied space and 0 is for the free space. And when I will delete the file names post x, y, z, then in this file allocation table, 1 will change to 0, which means the space occupied by the file is now free. The bits and bytes that mix up your deleted file are eventually reused to store other files. But this doesn't happen until the space is actually needed. Until your file is overwritten by the new data, it is still sitting there on your disk somewhere. The only difference is that the file allocation table is no longer keeping track of it. Therefore, it is possible to recover the deleted data with special software as soon as possible because if it got overwritten by new data, then your data is lost forever. So friends, how do you like this video? Comment down below and let us know. So well for now, your host Abe signing off and we'll meet you guys in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.